Biden has no plans to meet Saudi Crown Prince at G20 summit. President Joe Biden has no plans to meet with Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman at a November G20 summit in Indonesia. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said Sunday, Biden has no plans to meet with the Crown Prince at the G20 summit, Sullivan told CNN. Speaking as already stormy U.S.-Saudi relations have been further strained by Riyadh's support for oil production cuts. The planned cuts have infuriated Washington. With Biden warning on Tuesday of unspecified con- U.S. President Biden knocks UK PM Truss's economic plan, says not concerned about dollar strength. United States President Joe Biden on Saturday criticized British Prime Minister Liz Truss's original economic plan as a mistake and said he was not concerned about the strength of the soaring U.S. dollar. Truss on Friday fired her finance minister Kwasi Korteng and scrapped parts of their economic package after it sparked financial market turmoil, including a steep dive in the value of the pound. Biden, a Democrat, frequently criticizes conservative trickle-down economic policies associated in the United States with former President Ronald Reagan and Republicans. His White House, though, had previously declined to comment on the Truss plan which initially foresaw scrapping Britain's 45% top income tax rate. I wasn't the only one that thought it was a mistake, Biden told reporters during a stop at an ice cream shop in Oregon, referring to the trust proposal. Pakistan summons U.S. envoy for demarch over Joe Biden's nukes remarks. Pakistan reacted strongly on Saturday to U.S. President Joe Biden's remarks that Pakistan was among the most dangerous nations in the world when it came to the safety of its nuclear weapons and summoned U.S. Ambassador to Islamabad Donald Blom to issue him an official demarch. Hours after Pakistan Foreign Minister Bilal Bhutto Zardari spoke in detail on the issue, Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif hit back at Biden saying Pakistan had proven to be a most responsible nuclear state over the past decades and that its nuclear program was managed through a technically sound and foolproof command and control system. A statement from the PMO described Biden's comments as factually incorrect and misleading. Pakistan has also consistently demonstrated responsible stewardship of its nuclear weapons capability, marked by a very strong commitment to global standards, including those of the IAEA on non-proliferation, safety, and security, Sharif said. According to the PM, the real threat to international peace and security was posed by ultranationalism, violation of human rights in regions that are struggling against illegal occupation, violation of global norms by some states, repeated nuclear security incidents, the arms race among leading nuclear weapon states, an introduction of new security constructs that disturb the regional balance. Russia hits Ukrainian capital Kyiv with kamikaze drones. Four drone strikes hit central Kyiv on Monday morning as Russia used Iranian kamikaze drones to attack critical infrastructure, the second attack on the city in a week. Drones damaged several residential houses and a fire broke out in a non-residential building, Kyiv Mayor Vitaly Klitschko said on Telegram. Some streets were closed for traffic in the center of the city. Klitschko urged residents to avoid visiting central Kyiv if there was no urgent need to do so. Sri Lanka top court allows proceedings against former President Rajapaksa, others. Sri Lanka's top court has granted permission for proceedings against former President Gautabaya Rajapaksa, the rights group which filed the case against him said in a statement on Friday. The court also agreed to allow proceedings against the country's former Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa, its former finance minister, and two of its former central bank governors. Nuclear weapons without any cohesion, Joe Biden calls Pakistan most dangerous nation. U.S. President Joe Biden has called Pakistan one of the most dangerous nations in the world, citing its arsenal of nuclear weapons and a seemingly opaque command and control mechanism and what I think is maybe one of the most dangerous nations in the world, Pakistan. Nuclear weapons without any cohesion, said Biden, as quoted in a White House press release of his remarks at a Democratic Party event. Biden's no-cohesion remark is exemplified by the current political turmoil in Pakistan the past.